Mayong Buntag Wonders! We are exploring some of the spots here in the northern town of Carmen in North Cebu. We already just checked out Middle Earth Resort and now we're here at Durano. Durano like garden Durano and spring. Echo Park Something Resort? like that. Yeah. Uh, it's right here. So we're gonna check this one out. It looks pretty packed. No! God, please, no! <laughs> well, I should probably take my key. One time when we were exploring um, Bahol, I think, no. I left the key. Maybe it was Cebu? Cebu. Somewhere. I left the key in the bike, one of the rental bikes that we had before we owned a bike. And like we we're almost to this waterfall. I'm like, Isai, I gotta run back. I ran all the way back to get the key and no one had even touched it. But all right, let's check this out. I really like bonsai, guys. I would love to have one. I've never had one. Oh, there's something down here, too. Okay, there's more to explore out here. We're rushing it. But I'd love to have a bonsai. I just can't because our cats would definitely kill them probably overnight. Need like a bonsai room that the cats can't go in. Following the path back, we were met with the largest collection of bonsai either of us had ever encountered. This may not be what this place is popular for, but we couldn't help but be impressed. Wow, this gets really deep back here. You just follow this little path back. Just pray that we won't be having a dengue after this. So oh, many mosquitoes. Bring your off. We didn't wow. bring for some reason. We haven't had this bad mosquitoes before, I don't think. They are really killing us. It's a massively long path once you actually get back here. It's so beautiful. Kind of reminds me of when I was in Australia because Australia has like, there's bonsais everywhere in Australia, all kinds of different parks. I've never seen this many, not even in Australia. This is. So many bonsai. Oh, dragon fruits. These guys told me to smell this one. I don't know why. She might be messing with me. Oh, it smells good. It's so strong. Mmm. That's nice. You know what that is? No, what is it? Bringing you Sampaguita, the Philippine national flower. This is the national flower of the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Sampaguita. Sampaguita. Pick the good national flower because it smells great. And at the end of this little offshoot path here, I can see it. There's a miracle fruit. I've only seen them a few times. I don't know what's so miracle about them. Is that why are they miracle fruit? I don't know. I think like healing powers or something. They have healing powers? Well, our legs just got bitten like crazy by mosquitoes. Maybe it can help. <laughs> yeah, I want you to see how big it is. So I'll get right next to it. They're really big. I've never eaten one. Have you eaten one? No? No idea what it tastes like or... I don't know if you can even buy it. You might have to just have it or have someone give it to you. Don't know. Okay guys, Isai's trying to get this pose here. Let's see if we can make it happen. Okay, you're pretty close. You need your other hand up. Which? This one? That one's further. Yeah, that one's there and then... That's pretty much it. Uh, your toes should be pointed back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's let's take the shot and see. And you want to look, yeah, like that. Oh, your hair needs to be up in a bun as well. Are you really gonna put it up? <laughs> we have got to stay in that someday. I wonder how much it is. Guys, look at Isai's leg. Oh my god. <laughs> Planning our Instagram shots. Such a beautiful little like pathway down into the ocean. Not the ocean. Spring. So beautiful here. There's so many pools as well. I mean, I don't know how many. I wasn't counting. Five or six at least. There's a lot of people here just hanging out. 
relaxing. I mean, it's just a great place just to chill. And we even still have a pool, like, almost all to ourselves. So, it gets deep. We're in, I think, the shallowest one, but there's one that said it goes all the way to 12 feet. Guys, that's what our log is in the next pool over. Now they're all over, like, we wonder, we wonder, we wonder. People have a really hard time being we wonder. It would be like W A N D E R. No, like w E N D E R. W O N D E R. A. A. Yeah, w N. Yeah, or just W N. It's like, what word do you know that goes W N? <laughs> Come to Philippines in rainy season, it's fine. It's rainy season right now, and I mean, look, it's fine. But the water's gonna be cold. <laughs> be ready for that. At first we were admittedly shocked by how many people were here, but before we knew it, we had a whole pool to ourselves. The way the beautiful pools sit in contrast with the raging river right beside them is something truly awe-inspiring. Sudden unexpected rain, the pool all to ourselves, and the river in the background. This place is incredible. I expected way less from this spot. I'm like, I'm actually shocked how beautiful this place is. And the river back there, beautiful cliffside over here. Wow, this place is, uh, <laughs> this is a really good spot. Literally, I can't get over how beautiful this place is. Just the trees up there, the spring, nobody in this pool for some reason. And the river back there is what really puts it over the top. I mean, I think this is one of the most beautiful places. Hold on, let me, let me ask Izai. Let me see what Izai thinks. Izai, could this be the most beautiful place we've seen in North Cebu so far? Not like North Cebu, more of Carmen. Well, we've only seen two places in Carmen. Yeah. But it's, I mean... It's one of the most beautiful places. Yeah, maybe it's not the most beautiful place in North Cebu, but it's it's in one the running. The yeah, it's up there. It could be like, it could be part of like Seven Wonders of North Cebu. It might be, you're gonna have to wait and find out. Later. So we're on our way out to leave, go home, and we're noticing that the workers are all going around cleaning up so much trash. People just freaking destroy and trash things, man, I swear. But they're actually cleaning it up, making big piles, putting it in trash bags. It is so nice to see a place that's so well-maintained. Not only is this place gorgeous, but it's like they know they need to keep it maintained and beautiful, and they're doing a great job of it. So kudos to you guys. Got places to be. Hi, doggy. Hi. Hey, buddy. Why is she so excited? <laughs> It's so cute! Hey, oh my gosh, she's so cute. We need to give her a name. Whitney. <laughs> Alright, Whitney. Oh, and Brownie. Whitney, and, is that your boyfriend? Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Hi, Whitney. Hello, Whitney. 
All right, we gotta go home. We can't hang out. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. We'll come back someday, maybe. That was super fun. So amazing. And gold. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm thinking my number two spot in North Cebu so far after mm -hmm. Tindukdan Falls. Yeah. So cool. If you've never been here, check it out. Yeah. We have had no food the whole day. Yeah. Because we don't know where to go to. <laughs> None of these resorts have food. <laughs> okay, we're going to go hunt for food. But that's where we're going to leave you guys. We're not taking you with us on that. But tomorrow, <laughs> we're doing something that has been requested for a long time. Since I think I was here last time, people mm. have been requesting this. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I know you guys are because you've been telling us in the comments. And the camera is officially dying. So we really do have to end it. <laughs> no choice. All right, guys. Keep wondering.